Hey everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having an unbelievable day. Uh, coming back to you today. Uh, no matter what you're going through, and I know there are some times that things seem uh, frustrating and difficult, no matter what you're going through. Uh, as I always say, if you're still breathing, you're still in the fight. Uh, you have to stand up, square your shoulders, and push through. It's not always easy. Uh, with that being said, I want to move forward. Uh, I, stay tuned. We're still doing the Black Wealth series that uh, is associated with my 25th book, The Black Wealth Project. Uh, there's just a lot going on that we're trying to iron out and uh, streamline with everything that's going on between what I do as a business owner and what I do as the director of the Odyssey Project. And so uh, I'm only one person and I'm trying to uh, streamline some of the things that I do, uh, get into a situation where I can uh, unload a lot of what I'm having to do. So, so bear with me. We still have a lot more of those video episodes to come along uh, that will coincide with the chapters in the book so you can see what's going on. Speaking of the book, uh, The Black Wealth Project, uh, keep in mind that we are still doing sponsorships where you can sponsor a space in the book. And with this space, you can pay tribute to uh, whoever you want to pay tribute to, memorialize someone, uh, acknowledge or celebrate someone, or celebrate something that you've done yourself. Uh, and there are uh, a number of different things that you can do with the space. Also, there's no minimum. Uh, sponsorship, meaning that no matter what you sponsor, 50 cent, a dollar, whatever, we're going to publish your name in the book along with your sentence or paragraph celebrating who you want to celebrate. Now, if you uh, do uh, sponsor 25 or more, you'll get a copy of the book. If you sponsor $100 or more, you'll get a dedicated page that will be only you. And you can uh, celebrate whoever you want, how you want on that page if you uh, sponsor $250 or more, uh, you can then uh, have a dedicated page plus submit a photograph of the person that you want to acknowledge or celebrate. So definitely the information is in the description box. Go down and click it and follow suit. Uh, you can either click it, go to the page and read more about sponsorships, or if you just know what you want to sponsor, you can click the direct link and simply go give your sponsorships. Once you sponsor, I will contact you via email personally to thank you and then to request your submission on who you want to uh, celebrate and you type it out and send it, we publish it. On that note, let's move on. This is not going to be long, but I just want to talk about this from a different perspective than I think most people are looking at it. Uh, I think we just learned today that um, three officers and two paramedics uh, in Aurora, Aurora, California have been uh, indicted by a grand jury uh, in the death of Elijah McClain, a young black uh, Bell, uh, with promise, who was unduly stopped and killed. Uh, he had not done anything wrong, had not committed a crime, was innocent of any wrongdoing, and he was killed. Uh, the thing is that there has been an indictment. We know for a fact that there's a long way between an indictment and an actual conviction. Uh, but it is a start. What I would want to do is point you to something else that maybe a lot of people aren't paying attention to. Have you noticed that now that Democrats are in the majority on a federal level, uh, that all of the highlighting of uh, black lives being taken by police officers has kind of died down that since they're in office now, uh, the whole racism rants 
about Republicans and that Republicans aren't doing anything and that they're going to do things to change what's going on in police departments, the defunding police department, all that stuff. Have you noticed how quiet it's gotten? They've gotten in office. Uh, they they are where they want to be now. They, they you know they ran the a normal gamut of pandering and pulling triggers and tantalizing emotions and and everything that that they normally do to get blacks to trickle down to uh, the voter booth and do what blacks do and that's vote at a uh, at a constant ninety percent rate for Democrats who have consistently given us zero in return. Uh, I think that we should be taking note of what's going on. Uh, and I am in no way, uh, shape, form, or fashion advocating or uh, caping for Republicans. I have no love for the two-party system in its totality. I'm not pulling for the right wing or the left wing. I've told you this before. The right wing and the left wing belong to the same bird. That bird has been shitting on the heads of black people since we arrived in this country. We are not going to get what we deserve trusting and depending on politicians in a two-party system. We're not going to get what we deserve hoping someone else shows up and rescues us. It will not be until we make up in our minds that we are going to be responsible for our own well-being, that we're going to be responsible for educating our children. We're going to be responsible for underwriting business growth. We're going to be responsible for underwriting residential development. We're going to be responsible for the unification of our economic efforts. Until then, we will still be at the mercy of the very ones who have set in course our demise. That's our problem. They're not going to fix it. There's no benefit in fixing it. They benefit from our suffering. They benefit from our struggles. They benefit from our poverty. They benefit from forced crime. They benefit from all the things that we're suffering from. There's a benefit in that system for them. And until we make it up in our minds that we're going to actually take some type of action, we're going to find ourselves consistently at the bottom rung of the socioeconomic ladder trailing in every statistical category that measures success and mobility, it's going to be on us to make a change. I point this out in the book. I point this out in the book. I pointed it out in past uh, volumes as well. It's going to be up to us what we do. And right now, we have so far to go. But I, I was sitting up and I was looking and, you know, and, and I see the normal uh, heads, uh, you know, that, that, that have perched themselves on certain branches as voices and representations of the black struggle, uh, sharing victoriously uh, the news about these officers being indicted. And I'm glad they're indicted. If you do something wrong, you should be indicted. You should be held to the same standard, if not higher, than all of us are held to. So, you know, I'm good. I'm, I'm happy about that. But what I am noticing is where are all the Democrats that was on every little thing that happened before last election day? You know, they will push, man, this happened, that happened. When we get in office, we're going to do this. If you vote for us, we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to, and all of a sudden, they're in office, and it's still happening. Don't think for a second because you don't see it plastered everywhere that it's not happening. It's just that it no longer serves a narrative or serves a purpose, so it's going under the radar. There are still police officers killing young black males who are unarmed and, 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 and are no threat. And it's up to us to protect them. It's up to us to develop the uh, capacity to make our, our presence felt in a way that we can have an influence on what is being done to our uh, young males. Uh, and so 
I, I, I see that, and, you know, in one sense, I'm going, okay, yeah, they got them, but they haven't got them yet. That's just an indictment. That needs to be a, a, a conviction of that, but that needs to be an accountability, a reckoning uh, for all of these young people. And there are there, there, uh, our sisters out there being mishandled by police officers, too. And I'm calling on black men to stand up as far as that goes. We've got to make a difference. We've got to make our presence felt. We can't consistently sit in the shadows waiting on something to happen, hoping on something to happen, wishing for something to happen. We're going to have to stand up and make it happen. It's not easy. Hell, this is this this whole thing isn't easy. Being being a black man in America isn't easy. But we better stand up. We better do something. I just was sitting there, I was looking at that, you know. And, uh, we've got a lot of work to do. And, and I'm just sitting up here and I'm looking at some of the things we're doing and the things we focus on, the things that we get distracted by, how easy we can be misled and misguided and manipulated and triggered and, and what it does for us and what's not happening for us. And, and, and then I look at how brilliant we are as a people and it's frustrating because we have everything internally we need, but we are doing an immensely poor job at actualizing that potential. You know, on that note, I'm, I'll get ready to get out of here. But like I said, I want to remind you, if you haven't uh, sponsored your space in this book, go ahead and do so. Uh, all the information you need is in the description box. Uh, everybody's welcome. Like I said, there's no minimum. So go ahead and do your thing. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a great day.